the loss was, um, you know, I've lost before, in, you know, in fighting, in MMA, you're going to lose, you know. Uh, but to lose by knockout, that's something that I'm not used to doing. In all my years of training, which is, I've been training MMA 16 years, not one fighter could say they've hit me in the head and dropped me to a knee, put me on my butt, or knocked me out in training or in a fight. This last fight, getting knocked out that way is like, whoa, it's a totally new thing. And then to deal with the injuries after it was something, uh, it was pretty frustrating because I look at it as an injury I shouldn't have occurred. You know, I'm fighting another veteran fighter who's fought a long time and knocks me out to where I'm stiff and every fighter that's fought a long time like us you knock someone stiff there's nobody home it's like a mannequin on the ground and he runs over the top of me throws a strike with my head against the mat ends up breaking my orbital my eye socket my cheekbone and my jaw you know I have three titanium plates I have a titanium mesh holding my eye and something I feel like I shouldn't have ever had you know I would never do that to somebody and unfortunately that's one of the ramifications that come with our fighting and I had to deal with that and yeah that sucked so you know I, I agreed to sign this fight with Bellator after you know the injury and stuff I feel a lot better healed up feel great my shoulder feels great um, and I'm fighting Aaron Miller who's a he's a tough kid you know he's had a good amount of fights he's had over 20 fights uh, He's fought a lot of guys. He's a good wrestler, good striker, and you just can't underestimate anybody in this, in this game at all. Yes, he hasn't fought in the UFC. He hasn't fought in the higher level shows, but this kid's fought a lot. He's very experienced, and he's really good at what he does. So um, going into this fight, I want to I wanna put it all together, and I want to put it on him. Where am I better than Miller? I believe I have a much greater depth of knowledge of the positioning in MMA, defense in MMA, especially on the ground. He's a good wrestler, he's got, you know, he's got some really good technique, but I just feel I'm a lot sharper down there and could read things quicker and put myself in a better position and I don't run out of gas. You know, I see him, he, it doesn't look like he runs out of gas, but I don't think he's dealt with someone much bigger than him that could put as much strength on him as I can and uh, pressure him nonstop round after round like that. So I feel like I could break him and uh, get that W. Honestly, <laughs> this is my last professional fight. I'm not doing this anymore. It's, uh, it's been a long road, you know, and I posted some stuff on Facebook and Twitter about in the end, all you do is think about the beginning. And it's true. It's like, I think about everything I did in the beginning, how I got into the sport, my first fight, my first amateur fight, you know, all the stuff leading up to where I am now and all the things I've accomplished and what's the point? You know, I'm 39 years old. I just turned 39. I look like George Clooney hair. I got freaking salt and pepper. This is the longest my hair's been in like 15 years. My family doesn't even recognize me. But it's like, I've accomplished everything, you know? I, I've, I've got a good resume. I've got three wins in three different weight classes. I've fought different places in the world. I've fought on TV. I've, you know, I've done so many things within the sport. Hey, I won even a title in uh, King of the Cage, you know. Granted, it's not the UFC title, but I'm, I'm, I, I won. I was the champion in an organization that's been around a while, you know. So I'm very proud and happy with what I've done. And in the end, what's the point? You know, I've accomplished everything. I'm older. And I'm basically going into fights from here on out, if I were to keep fighting, is I'm going in with the house stacked against me because, you know, at 39, you start losing certain chemicals, your, your growth hormone, your, your testosterone, and stuff like that. And it just it puts you at a big disadvantage. I lose weight slower. I don't recover as fast. I'm not as quick, you know, but I can make up for that with my, you know, the veteran savvy. And, uh, yeah, so that was my decision is, you know, I can't do it anymore. My body can't take it. Uh, you know, between the injuries, going into one of my fights, I fractured a shoulder early on in training camp. Ended up fighting on it and winning, but I, I did permanent damage to my shoulder. Uh, and then, like we were just talking about, you know, this last loss where I got knocked out and, you know, suffered that injury. 
Dude, that's a, that's a major injury. My eye was displaced. I had to get my eye relocated. You know, they took the bone out in one area. I've got three titanium plates and you know, over the years, the sport's given me four titanium plates, one mesh, and about 20 screws, countless, you know, injuries, and it's just, your body can't take it.